All right, here's the situation for today. It's October 30th. It's raining right now. It's about 1.32 in the afternoon. It's supposed to start snowing here in Missouri around 5. Pretty hard, I think. I actually came in while it was raining to this thick river bottom here behind me this morning. And I found some really good sign, a bunch of fresh rubs. And the most sign that I found was about 50 yards away. Up in there, right in the transition, there was a bunch of scrapes and rubs and such. This spot is not very far from the parking lot, but I had to come across a river with a kayak to get over here. And to my knowledge, that's the only way to access this area. So I'm hoping that nobody's been in here. I did not see any sign of hunters earlier today, just big buck sign. I'm going to get up on one of these little spindly trees behind me, overlook this whole bedding area with the wind blowing out of it, and hope that some of those bucks come in here and scent check the downwind side. That's what it looks like they'll do according to the sign that I found. I'm going to go ahead and get set up. I'm going to put the camera away for a while to keep it from getting wet, but I'll give you guys an update in the tree. I'm heading for that little bitty tree right there. That one right there. It's been a complete rodeo of an evening. I initially hung the saddle in a tree over there and it just didn't work. I got everything up there. There was no way I was gonna be able to film and shoot out of that tree. So I ditched that idea and I just got set up right here in this little willow on the ground. As much as it's raining, sleeting, and the wind's blowing, I think it's a pretty good setup. If I could just keep the camera from getting soaking wet, I might have a chance tonight. It's been raining pretty constant for the last two hours. So like I've got all the cameras just covered in saran wrap to try to keep them from getting ruined. It's an awesome night to be out here. I've already seen several deer. I haven't been able to film them because it's been pouring rain. We're definitely in a good spot. It's obvious that, that we're right back in here amongst them.
just about got a shot at that thing. That was so close. I don't know if I had another buck come in behind me or if he looked over here at me and thought I was another buck. That's what I think. I made a little bit of noise when I peeled the, this survey map off at the front of the camera. And he heard that. I don't know if he thought if it was another buck scraping or what, but he started coming right at me. He came to like 20 yards and stood there and looked at me. That was pretty wild. I'm trying to make it work out here. <laughs> Look at this stupid thing. That was a nice buck. This is about going to do it for me tonight, guys. I'm almost out of legal light. Got a few minutes left here. But the rain is really setting in. So I'm probably going to go ahead and pack up my gear. Get it on home because I'm going to have to dry a bunch of stuff tonight. Pretty good evening though. I mean, had that nice buck come right in here. Trying to film it all myself. It got pretty dicey because he was at 30 yards. And then I saw him in the viewfinder. He was stomping right towards me. So there was no real way I could get to the bow and get it drawn while still getting footage of him. Still was a cool encounter, and it's good to see that there's bucks in here. Yesterday I was hunting a few miles east of here, got on some deer, but found a bunch of people sign in there. Found some trail cameras, boot tracks, stuff like that. So I just decided to switch gears and come into this new area. The bucks are definitely in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and get back to the yak before it starts raining any harder out here. Pretty good night though.